a 476.95 477.10 plus 0 0.03 and that is what i see in the console for the wipro row and the first row let us check it out a signed limited a 483.15 583.80 plus 11.52 let us cross check it Signed limited a 483.15 583.80 plus 11.52 that means I'm getting the data of all rows, all columns. Now, one more way through which I can get data from all rows, all columns is this. I'll just copy this again. And I will just remove the column part, the rows. That means all rows. So please understand one thing. The TD is a HTML tag used to create columns. And columns are always present below the row. So if I'm taking all rows, it will also cover all the columns. So what I can do is that I can just copy this part, which is first, which is all columns of all rows, and just copy this, paste it out here. This can be called as all list four, and this can be called as all list four can go to the X path, pick up this X path and paste it out here. The only difference between this and this will be the format of the result. If you look at the format of the result for this, it is in this particular fashion. Let us look at the format of the result when I run this particular script. So close the browser, save the class file and run it. Let us check out. Index out of bound, it is saying. So this is all list four. That is why the problem is cropping up. And save the class file and once again I'll run it. See, if you see out here, this is coming in row-wise manner. For example, Wipro, it is coming in single line. It, all the data from all the columns of the last row is coming. This is happening because the script has been written in this particular fashion. <coughs> With this X path. Now, if we are using this X path, this also represents all data from all columns of all rows okay but if you look at the console result the console result will be in this particular fashion this is the difference in the console result if we are using these two x paths which is nothing but x path used to get the data from all the columns of of all the rows both these x path do does the same thing it will give, give you data from all the columns of all the rows, but the format of the results in the console 
will be different that is what we saw okay so as far as our ppt is concerned we saw how to work with uh, dynamic web tables we saw that the web table was changing why it was changing because the number of rows was decreasing and i was not getting the result for the last row unless the x path was fixed properly and we also saw how to extract data from a web table the next thing that we are going to see is that how do we handle web tables with css selector so for that i will create a new class file and uh, using css selector how do we work with web tables i'm going to use the same code to navigate to the same url i'm going to change that so how do you work with css selectors that is the thing now for example i want to work with the first row first column this one so the requisite css selector for this will be selector for first row first column how do i get it so i need to go out here go to the first row first column this is the x path <clears throat> if you see it has a table tag below the table tag there is a t head tag t body tag and below that you have the first tr there are a lot of trs are out there this is one tr this is another tr and then the td tag the first column first row so how do i represent in css selector format so what i need to do is that copy this in css selector format there is no forward slash you have you do not have at the rate id you just have to represent it by a greater than sign or a space so I'll use the greater than sign table followed by greater than sign t body followed by greater than sign tr1 this is not how it is represented tr colon nth child 1 and then again greater than sign td colon nth child 1 this is the css selector for the first or first column so what i need to do is that let's say i want to to get data from first row first column what do I need to do? I need to use driver dot find element by the CSS selector and the expression I need to copy from here. I need to use the text get text method and the return type of a get text method is a string. So I'll call this as string text one and I'll use the CISO statement write down data at first row first column is concatenate this with this particular variable. Save the class file, 
close the browser and run the particular class file. The text is signed limited and I can cross verify it. The first row, first column has the data as signed limited. Okay, now let's say I want to get the data from all the rows, first column. So, I want to get data from the first column of all rows how do I do that so I need to use driver dot find elements with s by the CSS selector and the expression of the CSS selector should be defined so here is what is the xpath for getting xpath for getting data from first column of all rows so creating a css selector for this for for getting data of all rows with their first column how do I do that so what I need to do is that this is the xpath I'll copy the xpath and what I will do I will remove this forward slash remove this at the rate ID the forward slash has to be replaced by greater than sign or a space this is also a space out there and this is also or greater than sign or a space whatever it is tr this represents all rows first column the first column will be represented by nth child first and this has to be removed by greater than sign since I have not given any child this means all the rows first column data so I'll pick up this CSS selector copy go out here paste it the return type of a find elements method is a list of web elements so just copy this I'll Call this reference variable as all list equal to and import the web element import the list from the utility package and then I got to use the for loop so I will represent the index number by a variable a which is equal to 0 a should be less than all list dot size and then a plus plus and I can then sys out something like this data from first column of all rows are concat this with all list dot gay get the index number represented by a and then dot get the text so this should give me the data from the first column of all the rows I'll use a differentiator out here to differentiate the answers in the console of Eclipse so let us close the browser and run the class file
let's check out the result so the first row first column data is this the last row first column data is this i can cross check it the first row first column data is this the last row first column data is this so cross check that means it is working fine this is actually how you work with css selector in web tables now let's say i want to click on this particular link so i have to get the xpath of this copy it so the deal is basically to click on the wipro limited link so how do i do that so what i need to do is that use driver dot find element by the css selector i can work with css selector also what i need to do is remove this remove this at the rate and remove this with greater than sign table tr52 throw greater than sign this has to be changed this is child number 52 so colon nth child 52 greater than sign this is first column of the last row so td nth child 1 colon a dot click method the location will remain same the data might change that is the only thing that we need to remember let's look at this is a selector format and close the browser save the class file and run it this should click on the wipro limited link present in the last row first column So it is open up the Wipro Limited page by clicking on the Wipro Limited link. Out here, and this is the title of the page, and that is what it has done. So that is how you actually click on a link present in a dynamic web table. So that's what we wanted to see: how do we work with CSS selector, and how do you click on a link present in a particular cell of a web table? this is supposed to be a cell of a web table this is this is one cell this is another cell this is another cell each cell is represented by a row and a column <coughs> and i think we have covered most part of our ppt if i'm not wrong yeah so building custom function means you are actually customizing the x path or the css selector based on your requirement you can manipulate the xpath in the css selector and create your custom functions through that you can get data of the requisite row and the column that you want and that's about it